Hey guys, it's Old Man G again, back to you again with another video for Red Devil Studios. Sorry this is late, it's been quite busy today. Um, basically, um, you guys seem to all love uh, Bruno Fernandes. Uh, that seems my most popular video to date. Um, so, I guess this video is a bit of an update. Um, to be honest, um, transfer news from United has gotten scarily quiet since United started tour, which is a bit concerning for me. Um, but basically, our news comes from um, Portuguese reports. It's actually a Portuguese uh, media outlet called, I think it's Correa, Correa de Mana. I don't know if I'm, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and basically what they're saying is, okay, so Sport and Lisbon essentially have gone on their pre-season now, okay. Obviously, Bruno Fernandes is amongst them. Um, but uh, according to what's, um, Bruno Fernandes is actually going to be rested um for the friendly sort of game um for fear of basically injury or to prevent fear of injury because they want Bruno Fernandes essentially to be um uh you know match well not to say match but fit so they can obviously sell him because at the end of the day if he gets injured you know it puts it puts it will put a lot of people off like actually bidding for Bruno Fernandes won't it you know you're not going to buy a, a croc play who goes out who's out for like six months something like that. that's just not going to happen so they're clearly trying to protect him, which shows the intent, obviously, of um, uh, sports in Lisbon. Um, it also shows that Bruno Fernandes is willing um, and wants the sort of transfer. So the question then becomes, why are Manchester United, um, why haven't they sorted out this deal? Um, I just still do not understand... I am. I don't think. I imagine Sport and Lisbon are not asking for a hundred k, hundred million pounds, Bruno Fernandes. I imagine a deal will be done if we give them six sixty five million. I imagine. I don't quite understand why Bruno Fernandes is not worth that amount. Um, we paid more for Lukaku. Um, we paid just under. I'd say for Fred. Um. I don't get why we're haggling with Sporting Lisbon um, for this, you know, especially because we really, really need the reinforcements. Our pre-season has started. He's obviously not going to be on our pre-season. So essentially, the only signs we have are Daniel James and Wan Basaka that are on our pre-season tour. We don't have a new centre-back. We don't have a new midfield uh, field player i.e. a player to actually replace Ander Herrera or potentially Paul Pogba, who obviously wants to um, uh, leave Manchester United. Um, Lukaku wants to go. We don't have an issue, issue with that. Um, and that's what I'm talking about, like our right wing situation. I mean, as I said in my like rant video, last video, it's getting quite frustrating seeing Manchester United's transfer policy. And to be honest... I think it will be very, very, very harsh for us to judge. If this is this team that's going to be starting a season, I don't know what you guys are going to expect from Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Like, seriously, like, what do you expect Oli to do with this team? Like, unless magically his coaching method has worked and he's been able to, um, to, to get all the players fit so that we can play high-press football and it works. Um, and defensively, we just somehow work. And somehow everything, it just things just have to click. And everyone just has to be happy. And that's the only way I can see us even potentially getting into the top four. And or our rivals, i.e. Arsenal, Chelsea, and probably even Liverpool, sorry, um, Wolves and, and Leicester capitulating. Because frankly, we're not reaching Liverpool or Man City next season. We're not. I'm ex accepting that now. I know that's pessimistic, but... If you just look at what we're doing now, as I said, I said in my video last, so my video yesterday, the it's, this feels like last season. There was a negativity around transfers around pre-season, um, um, going into the full season, and we saw what happened. Now, Soul Shock obviously is not negative; it's not being negative. You can see him being happy with the team. He's quite happy. In the preceding trains, to speak, but in term, but I imagine he's not happy that he hasn't got the players. He asked for for transfers, five transfers, I suspect, by the first, hasn't gotten any. Um, I imagine he's not happy about that. Um, 
And we know that there are players in the camp that aren't happy either, i.e. Pogba and Lukaku. Um, so, yeah, it's like, you know, I really hope we get this Bruno Fernandes deal sorted. I really, really do. Um, my optimistic self says that we will get it done. I feel like, we'll, however, we'll get it. I don't think Tottenham will will, will, will will spend that money. I don't think Daniel Levy is too much of a money pincher to spend that spend that money. Um, so I do think that United are in for him. And I think that what was probably going to happen is that with like a week to go, either we'll finally cave and say, you know what, just take the money, we'll get the agreement done, and, and he'll be he'll be ready to start the season. Although, you know, um, uh, you know, he wouldn't have had a pre-season. He's just going into team and, you know, he's going to, have to take time to adapt. So people might criticise him not being wet, playing well, but he wouldn't have had a pre-season with United to the squad, so we've got to give him time. The other thing that we need to bear in mind, the, the other thing that, can, that scares me, concerns me, um, is that um, the, the, the transfer window, the English transfer was closed, obviously, before the rest of the, the, the leagues in Europe, which means that teams can still sign players. So the worst, 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 worst case scenario for me is that, and that miss, this might sound crazy, that we sell Lukaku and Pogba after the season starts, but we haven't been able to replace them. I know a lot of people are quite happy they want Lukaku and Pogba to go. Fine, I get that, and I even agree with that to a certain extent. But we have to sign adequate replacements. And Real Madrid, Juventus, they could put in a bid, one return, we accept it, Pogba goes, okay, who's coming in to replace Pogba? Oh, you can't sign anyone, the transfer window is closed. Lukaku goes, okay, fine, answer. Oh, we can't sign anyone. And I'm sorry, but we need a Pogba replacement. Sean Longstaff, in my opinion, is not a Pogba replacement. Tommy is not a Pogba replacement. And if Lukaku goes, yes, he's got, got, got a first touch, but he has scored goals. So we need to replace the goals that he scored for us last season. And I don't think Rashford has those goals in him. We need someone to come in. You know, so these are my con these are my concerns concerns, guys. You know, um, I really, you know, that is the really worst case scenario that we have where we we, we don't get any more of our signings and we let players go. We you've let we essentially you could potentially end up having being Pogba down, Lukaku down, Herrera down, um, and no one coming in to basically to fill in and still stuck with Jones in in, in, a, in a, as a centre back. You know. Uh, I, I, you know, like, if this, that is what happens, fourth place would be a miracle. No United fan should accept anything more than a essentially fourth place finish for this season. They shouldn't. Um, that would be a miracle um, with that type of backing, considering how rich United are. You know, it's, it's not acceptable. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. Everything seems to be okay on, on the Bruno Fernandes side, on Spornism side. They're waiting. It's really up to Manchester United now to actually pull the trigger and actually sign Bruno Fernandes. Tell me what you think, guys, in the comments on Twitter. Um, do you feel like I'm feeling I'm very frustrated about how just annoying and how long drawn out these transfers are? Why United seem to only seem to be working on one transfer each? Is the Pogba situation, is that is that the issue? Is that that they're waiting to see what happens to Pogba before they sign Bruno Fernandes? I don't think that Pogba should even come into it. They should still sign Bruno Fernandes even if we keep Pogba. Because we've already lost the midfielder in Herrera. In Herrera. Um, so, you know, what do you think? You know, um, I said, I'm just speaking the truth here. This might be classed another rant video, but I just think that um, we really, really, really need to get a move on. But... It, it just doesn't look good from from my perspective. Um, thanks for listening, guys. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to um, Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at We Are United X. Um, feedback is very appreciated. Um, have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.